Welcome back to another episode of Real Real Talk. We're here today to begin our exploration on cult films, understanding their appeal and significance. Today, we're going to go into what is a cult film and discuss what we'll be looking at over the next several weeks. So first, to dive right in, our introduction. Cinema is a vast realm where creativity knows no bounds, offering a kaleidoscope of narrative styles and genres to captivate audiences worldwide. Among the myriad offerings of the silver screen, cult films stand out as enigmatic gems that divide conventional categorization and ignite passionate devotion among their followers. So we've been exploring some cult cinema to unravel the mysteries behind these captivating creations and seek to understand the allure and significance that makes them enduring fixtures in the annals of film history. The term cult film conjures images of midnight screenings, devoted fan clubs, and underground gatherings where cinephiles unite to celebrate their shared obsessions. Yet the essence of cult cinema extends far beyond its surface manifestations delving into the realms of subversion, counterculture, and even artistic experimentation. At its core, cult cinema represents a rebellion against the status quo, a celebration of the unconventional, and a testament to the enduring power of storytelling in its purest form. In this introductory exploration, we set out to unravel the enigma of cult films, probing the depths of their appeal and significance in the cultural landscape, through a blend of analysis, reflection, and appreciation, we seek to illuminate the hidden truths and untold stories beneath the surface of these cinematic treasures. From the iconic midnight screenings of the Rocky Horror Picture Show to the surrealistic nightmares of David Lynch's Eraserhead, cult cinema encompasses diverse genres, styles, and themes that challenge, provoke, and inspire in equal measure. As we embark on this odyssey into the heart of cult cinema, let us cast aside preconceptions and embrace the spirit of adventure and discovery. From the shadowy depths of underground cinemas to the vibrant tapestry of online communities, the world of cult cinema beckons with promises of mystery, wonder, and endless fascination. Together, let us journey into the realm of cult films where the boundaries of imagination blur and the possibilities are limited only by the bounds of our collective creativity. Take a quick break and when we come back, we'll attempt to define cult films. Cult films represent a distinct category within the realm of cinema. They're characterized by their unconventional narratives, passionate fan bases, and enduring popularity, despite often modest initial reception. While the term cult film lacks a universally agreed upon definition, it typically refers to movies that have achieved a dedicated following among a niche audience, often outside the mainstream. Understanding what defines a cult film requires exploring several key characteristics that set them apart from conventional cinema. First and foremost, cult films often defy traditional genre categorizations, blurring the boundaries between comedy, horror, science fiction, and avant-garde cinema. They may feature unconventional storytelling techniques, surrealistic imagery, or provocative themes that challenge societal norms and expectations. This subversion of genre conventions contributes to their allure, drawing audiences seeking fresh perspectives and unconventional narratives. Another defining feature of a cult film is their ability to resonate deeply with specific subcultures or marginalized communities. Whether exploring themes of rebellion, identity, or existential angst, Cult films often strike a chord with audiences who feel alienated or misunderstood by mainstream media. As a result, these movies serve as touchstones for cultural movements, providing a sense of validation and solidarity for those who identify with their themes and messages. Also, the cult status of a film is often closely tied to its reception and dissemination within niche communities. Cult films frequently find their audience through alternative distribution channels, such as underground screenings, 
specialty theaters, or word-of-mouth recommendations. These grassroots efforts foster a sense of exclusivity and camaraderie among the fans who share a collective enthusiasm for their chosen cinematic treasures. It's important to note that the designation of a film as a cult classic is not solely determined by its box office success or critical acclaim. In fact, many cult films initially receive lukewarm reviews or struggle to find any audience upon their release. Instead, their cult status emerges over time as dedicated fans champion their cause and introduce new generations to their unique charms. In essence, cult films embody the spirit of rebellion, creativity, and nonconformity that lies at the heart of cinematic expression. They challenge our perceptions, expand our horizons, and remind us of the boundless possibilities of storytelling. As we continue to explore the rich history of cult cinema, we gain insight into the diverse voices, visions, and experiences that shape our collective cinematic landscape. So now we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about some of the characteristics of cult films. Cult films, a distinct subset of cinema, possess a variety of unique characteristics that set them apart from mainstream movies. These characteristics contribute to their enduring popularity and passionate fan base. So let's dive into some of the defining features of cult films and explore what makes them such compelling pieces of cinematic art. First, quirky and unconventional storytelling. Cult films often feature narratives that defy traditional storytelling conventions. They may incorporate surrealistic elements, non-linear plots, or ambiguous endings that challenge audience expectations. Examples include 1977's Eraserhead, directed by David Lynch, and 2001's Donnie Darko, directed by Richard Kelly. These films employ unconventional storytelling techniques to create an atmosphere of intrigue and mystery, inviting viewers to interpret the narrative in multiple ways. Second is iconic characters and memorable dialogue. Cult films are often populated by eccentric characters and memorable lines of dialogue that resonate with audiences long after the credits roll. Take, for instance, 1998's The Big Lebowski, directed by the Coen brothers, known for its quirky personalities, and 1975's The Rocky Horror Picture Show, directed by Jim Sharman, celebrated for its witty banter. These films create memorable moments that fans eagerly quote and reference, contributing to their cult appeal. Third is their provocative themes and subversive content. Many cult films explore the provocative themes and subversive content that push the boundaries of societal norms, from taboo subjects like sexuality and violence to critiques of authority and conformity. Cult films often challenge audiences to question their beliefs and values. 1971's A Clockwork Orange, directed by Stanley Kubrick, delves into themes of free will and moral responsibility, while 1972's Pink Flamingos, directed by John Waters, is notorious for its outrageous portrayal of counterculture values. Fourth, limited initial commercial success. Unlike mainstream blockbusters, cult films often experience limited success upon their initial release. They generally struggle to find distribution or fail to attract large audiences due to their unconventional nature or controversial content. However, their cult status grows over time as dedicated fans discover and champion them, turning them into enduring classics. Which brings us to number five, dedicated fan bases and cult following. One of the defining characteristics of cult films is their dedicated fan bases. These fans often form tight-knit communities around their favorite films, organizing screenings, conventions, and fan events to celebrate their shared passion. The sense of belonging and camaraderie fostered by these communities adds to the enduring appeal of cult cinema. Sixth, there's the alternative distribution and underground appeal. Cult films frequently find their audience through alternative channels such as midnight screenings, art house theaters, and specialty DVD releases. 
They thrive on word of mouth recommendations and grassroots marketing efforts, attracting audiences who seek out unique and unconventional cinematic experiences. So cult films embody a spirit of innovation, rebellion, and creativity that distinguishes them from mainstream cinema. With their quirky storytelling, memorable characters, and provocative themes, cult films offer audiences an alternative perspective on the world and challenge the boundaries of traditional filmmaking as they continue to captivate audiences, inspire passionate fandom. Cult films remind us of the enduring power of cinema to provoke, entertain, and enlighten. Now we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll go through a quick list of some famous cult films that we'll be covering in this series. Cult films have absolutely left a mark on cinema history, captivating audiences with their unique charm, their unconventional storytelling, and my favorite, their rebellious spirit. So, for some examples of famous cult films that have achieved some legendary status and continue to inspire generations of fans, this series of films is also what we're going to be covering over the next several weeks on Real Real Talk. First up will be the Rocky Horror Picture Show, a sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania, known for its interactive midnight screenings and catchy musical numbers. This campy sci-fi musical has developed a dedicated cult following due to its subversive themes of sexuality and gender. Then we'll research The Big Lebowski, The Dude Abides. Directed by the Coen brothers, this offbeat comedy follows the laid-back and unconventional Dude Lebowski as he becomes entangled in a bizarre kidnapping plot. Its quirky characters and quotable dialogue have earned it a cult following. Next up, we have Eraserhead. In heaven, everything is fine. David Lynch's surrealistic debut feature film explores themes of anxiety, alienation, and existential dread. Its haunting imagery and enigmatic narrative have fascinated audiences for decades, making it a cult classic of experimental cinema. Next up will be Pink Flamingos, an exercise in poor taste. This transgressive comedy, directed by John Waters, pushes the boundaries of good taste with its outrageous characters and provocative scenes. Despite its controversial content, it has become a cult favorite among fans of underground cinema. Next up will be Donnie Darko. Life is one long, insane trip. Some people just have better directions. This psychological thriller follows troubled teenager Donnie Darko as he navigates a surreal world filled with time travel and existential angst. Its enigmatic plot and ambiguous ending have sparked endless debate among fans. Next will be A Clockwork Orange. Being the adventures of a young man whose principal interests are rape, ultraviolence, and Beethoven. Stanley Kubrick's dystopian masterpiece explores themes of free will, morality, and the nature of evil. Its controversial subject matter and striking visual style have made it a cult classic of the sci-fi genre. Next up will be The Room, a film with the passion of Tennessee Williams. Written, directed, and starring Tommy Wiseau, this unintentionally hilarious melodrama has gained a cult following for its inept acting, nonsensical plot, and bizarre dialogue. Fans revel in its so bad it's good charm. Then we'll take a look at Repo Man. It's 4 a.m. Do you know where your car is? A punk rock sci-fi comedy directed by Alex Cox. Repo Man follows a young punk as he becomes embroiled in the world of car repossession and encounters aliens, government agents, and radioactive material. Its irreverent humor and subversive themes have endeared it to cult film aficionados. Then we'll take a look at El Topo, The Mole, directed by Alejandro Jodorowsky. This surrealistic western follows a gunslinger on a quest for enlightenment as he encounters bizarre characters and surreal landscapes. Its psychedelic imagery and philosophical themes have earned its occult following among fans of avant-garde cinema. And then we'll take a look at Night of the Living Dead. They Won't Stay Dead. 
This low-budget horror film directed by George Romero revolutionized the zombie genre and paved the way for countless imitators. Its gritty realism, social commentary, and shocking violence have made it a cult classic of horror cinema. Then we'll dive into The Evil Dead, the ultimate experience in grueling terror. Directed by Sam Raimi, this low-budget horror film follows a group of friends as they encounter demonic forces while staying at a remote cabin in the woods. Its inventive camera work, gruesome special effects, and its dark humor have made this a cult favorite among horror fans. And then we'll take a look at The Princess Bride. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Rob Reiner's beloved fantasy adventure film combines swashbuckling action, romance, and humor in a timeless tale of true love and high adventure. Its witty dialogue, memorable characters, and heartfelt storytelling have endeared its audiences of all ages, earning it a cult following. And then there's Blade Runner. Man has made his match. Now it's his problem. Ridley Scott's neo-noir sci-fi masterpiece explores themes of identity, humanity, and artificial intelligence in a dystopian future. Its stunning visuals and philosophical depth and atmospheric score have made it a cult classic of the genre. Then we're going to take a look at Harold and Maude. They were meant to be. Directed by Hal Ashby, this dark comedy tells the unlikely love story between a morbid young man and an eccentric elderly woman. Its quirky humor, offbeat characters, and touching message of embracing life have earned it a devoted cult following. Brazil, It's Only a State of Mind, directed by Terry Gilliam, comes next. This dystopian satire follows a bureaucrat who becomes embroiled in a nightmarish world of government surveillance and bureaucracy. Its surreal visuals, dark humor, and biting social commentary have made it a cult classic of the sci-fi cinema. Then we'll take a look at Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. This is not a sequel. There has never been anything like it. Directed by Russ Meyer and written by Roger Ebert. This campy exploitation film follows an all-female rock band as they navigate the hedonistic world of Hollywood. It's over-the-top performance, psychedelic visuals, and wild plot twists have earned it a cult following. Then we'll take another a look at another Terry Gilliam film, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Buy the ticket, take the ride. Based on the novel by Hunter S. Thompson, this surreal comedy follows journalist Raul Duke and his attorney, Dr. Gonzo, as they embark on a drug-fueled road trip to Las Vegas. Its surreal imagery, manic energy, and biting satire have made it a cult favorite among fans of counterculture cinema. And then there's Heather's. Best Friends, Social Trends, and Occasional Murder. Directed by Michael Lehman, this dark comedy follows a group of high school students as they navigate the treacherous social hierarchy of their school. Its pitch black humor, quotable dialogue, and biting satire of teenage life have earned it a cult following. And then there's Napoleon Dynamite. He's out to prove that he's got nothing to prove. Directed by Jared Hess, this offbeat comedy follows awkward teenager Napoleon Dynamite as he navigates the trials and tribulations of high school in rural Idaho. Its deadpan humor, eccentric characters, and quirky charm have made it a cult classic of indie cinema. And then we'll end with another Jodorowsky film, The Holy Mountain, a film completely outside the entire tradition of motion picture art. It's a surrealistic odyssey following a thief who embarks on a spiritual journey to find the secret of immortality. Its hallucinatory visuals, esoteric symbolism, and philosophical themes have made it a cult favorite among fans of experimental cinema. These are just a few examples of famous cult films that have left a mark on pop culture and that continue to captivate audiences with their unique blend of creativity, originality, and irreverence as testaments to the enduring power of cinema to challenge, provoke, and entertain. Cult films remind us of the boundless possibilities of storytelling and the enduring appeal of the unconventional. We'll take a quick break right here, and when we come back, we'll wrap up this episode. Hi, 
As we conclude this exploration of the world of cult films, it becomes evident that these cinematic treasures hold a special place in the hearts of audiences worldwide, from the surreal landscapes of David Lynch to the campy horror and the unique personalities of John Waters. Each film on this list offers a unique and unforgettable viewing experience. Throughout our journey, we have delved into the defining characteristics of cult films, examined subversive themes, and celebrated an irreverent spirit. So what makes a cult classic is not just its popularity or critical acclaim, but its ability to resonate with audiences on a deeper level, inspiring devotion and sparking conversations long after the credits have rolled, whether through midnight screenings, fan conventions, or online communities, cult films foster a sense of camaraderie among fans who share a passion for the unconventional and the unexpected. In a world where mainstream entertainment often prioritizes predictability and formulaic storytelling, cult films remind us of the power of cinema to provoke, challenge, and entertain. They celebrate the diversity of human experience and offer refuge for those who dare to embrace the strange and unusual and the unexpected. So whether you're a seasoned cinephile or a curious newcomer, take a journey into the weird and wonderful world of cult films. Embrace the unconventional, challenge your expectations, and join us as we continue to explore the endless possibilities of storytelling, one cult classic at a time. And as we revisit these iconic films, celebrating their quirks, analyzing their impact, and embracing the eclectic spirit of cult cinema, we invite you to join us on this journey of discovery. Through our reviews and discussions, we hope to shed light on the diverse array of films that have left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, inspiring generations of filmmakers and captivating audiences for decades to come. In the coming weeks, we will embark on a deeper exploration of cult classics. We're going to dissect their themes, analyze their impact, and uncover the reasons behind their enduring popularity. Join us as we revisit these iconic films, celebrating their quirks, examining their nuances, and embracing the eclectic spirit of cult cinema. Through our reviews and discussions, we hope to shed light on the diverse array of films that have left a mark. And as we conclude, as always, we'd love to hear from you. What are your opinions? What are your favorite cult films? Reach out to us. You can email us at therealrealtalk at gmail.com. Or you can find us on Instagram and threads at therealrealtalk. So let's get together. Let's celebrate creativity, originality, and irreverence. And until next time, keep watching, keep loving, and keep those reels rolling.